Hello everyone and welcome to another session of Mental Math. So in this session, we'll learn a technique called doubling and halving. So these techniques are very useful, especially when one of the factors is a multiple of five, right? So if we have a multiple of five or 25 or 50 or similar numbers, right? Which are a multiple of five or which has a zero at the end. So in this cases, what we'll try to do is we'll use this technique, okay? So let's say we have, um, let's say 32 times 25, right? So what we can do is we can double and half, right? So one side will double. So 25, we are doubling to 50. The other side, we are halving, so 16, right? So we can do it multiple times. So 50, we can double to 100 and 16, we can half to Eight, right so this is 800 so rather than doing the multiplication in a long way we can shorten it by doubling and halving right let's say we have uh, 16 times 35 right so rather than doing 16 times 35 what we can do we can double one side and we can half one side so this ends with 5 so it's good to double it because if we double it it will end with 0 right so 35 times 2 is 70 and 16 divided by 2 is 8. And we know that 8 7s are 56, so 560. So rather than doing the multiplication, we are kind of simplifying it to get a simpler calculation basically, right? So let's try a couple of more questions. So let's say we have 260 times 15. So rather than doing this, what we'll do is we'll double 15. So we get 30 and we'll half to 60. So we get 130, right? So now we know 13 3 is a 39, so 3900. 0, 0. Very simple in one line, we can get the answers. Same thing if we have a multiple of 50, let's say we have 56 times 25, right? Same thing, what we'll do? We'll half 56 and we'll multiply 25 times 2, right? So 25 times 2 is 50, and 56 divided by 2 is 28, right? So same thing, we can divide again 28 by 2, we get 14 and we can multiply 50 by 2, which is 100. So very simple way we can get the answers, right? So you can try a few more. So for you guys, you can try 24 times 75. You can try basically a few more questions. Let's say you can try uh, 50 times 36 you can try any number you can try let's say 18 times uh, 55 so either way whenever you have a number ending with 5 a number ending with 50 you can always use these techniques so these you can try later on and uh, yeah that's all about it for today uh, and uh, so Basically, let's uh, kind of summarize it. So whenever we have questions uh, in which one of the uh, factor is a multiple of 5, 25 or 50, we can always use doubling and halving to simplify the multiplication. Okay. I hope you guys like the video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. For more such contents, please subscribe to our channel, share the video with your friends, and we'll see you guys in our next session. Thank you.